Voting was suspended briefly this morning at Central High School when voters found out that the stamp on their ballots were not legible. A crowd gathered at the Smite Street School as they highlighted what they described as an irregularity. We don't have stamp on the paper, we don't have to vote. The ballot sheet the ballot has no stamp uh -huh. and the stamp on the stamp is malfunctioning, mm -hmm. so they're not, the numbers are not printed. APN UAFC's David Patterson explained what happened. The stamp was defective, the, you know, I mean, the unique ID stamp, stamp was defective. Um, four or nine persons were voted and before the process stopped. Um, what, we try, what, what the chief election of who's on his way is um, going to do is to come to ensure and, and assure everybody that, that the four or nine will be voted and they'll make a replacement stamp um, going forward. Prime News was told that one of the balloting officers may have tried to write the numbers to make them legible. The situation was quickly solved when GCOM's chairman, Dr. Steve Serge Bali, arrived. <laughs> and indeed, voting restarted in 10 minutes. Dr. Serge Bali explained that there was a similar situation, but on a smaller scale at Rhymevelt. A replacement stamp was sent to both locations. The situation also brought out Chief Elections Officer Keith Lowenfield. From Peter's Hall to here has been very good. I don't think we have very many problems. This here definitely was a problem and I want to apologize to the electors who bear with us while we start to resolve it. There were reports that political parties continued to campaign today in breach of the law. In Region 1, observers spoke of a PPP information booth being set up close to a polling station. Then there were reports of vehicles with party banners passing polling stations. At the time we spoke to the chief elections officer, he was unaware of these issues. For Prime News, Nazima Ragaber.